we are working with Annie here on whistle recall. Whistle recall is used for long distances like a beach or a big park. Also, if your dogs get out of the house, this whistle has saved my dog's life many times when they've gotten out of the house and I didn't know where they were. They're trained for the whistle for emergencies. So what you want to do is start with super, super high value food. So even if you guys make dinner and you have steak, chicken, fish, anything, save a little piece in a foil and you're going to practice with them at another time with the whistle. So how you start is you're going to blow. First you want to make sure the dog is not afraid. So if you see the dog is afraid of the whistle, we're not going to use the whistle with them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the lure. So I'm going to have the dog see the food in my hand as I walk back and I'm going to whistle. So what I'm going to do is and walk back. So this, very quickly, the dog will associate the whistle with coming to me. Now, right now, they're seeing me do this, so that's helping them out. But Annie, I think, does know the whistle. So I'm going to do one more floor like that. She's eating something else. So I'm going to wait until she's more focused. If she's doing something else, I have less chance for her to focus on me. Good job. So now I'm going to throw a piece away. Oh, she did lost. And when she's finished. Yay! Good job! I want to be really happy, really excited that they came. I'm going to jackpot her for that. And that means giving her multiple treats at one time. So that was really great. This is great to get them focused. Like again, if you're at a park, at a beach, for emergencies, I don't want you walking around with the whistle around your house, but this is a great way that you can get your dogs to come to you.